continuing with periodic table and the trends we will learn about the trends in ionization energy ionization energy what is it it is the minimum energy required to remove an electron from an atom in the gas phase for example if the uh, atom uh, we consider if the element we consider is potassium we have to have that in gas phase and the energy required to remove one electron to convert and k to k plus is the ionization energy the ionization energy decreases in a group because as you go down in a group you know that the size increases once the size increases the electron is farther from the nucleus and hence it will be easier to remove it and therefore the energy required to remove it becomes lesser however in a period we know that the size decreases and the effective nuclear charge increases because of this we in order to overcome the pull given by the nucleus we need to put in more energy and hence the ionization energy increases in a period and uh, some other definition which you should know is first ionization energy is the energy required to remove the first electron and the second energy ionization energy is the energy required to remove the second electron from the positive ion formed after the removal of the first electron with this as the base we will learn more about ionization energy ionization energy let's discuss some anomalies and charts so the some of the things we should know is first ionization energy of group 2 elements are higher than the group 3 el elements as you are removing an electron from a completely filled shell in general if you go with the trend uh, ionization energy increases in a period this is an anomaly then uh, ionization energy also depends on the p sub shell it's been found that half filled shells have higher ionization energy than partially filled shells for example group 3a that has only one elect one p electron it will be ns2 np1 therefore it will have one p electron the electron can be lost easily however group 5a which has three p electrons which is a half filled uh, subshell it will be difficult to remove an electron and hence the ionization energy will be higher similarly coming to a 6a uh, because of uh, a four electron which is a partially filled subshell the ionization energy is lesser and the electron is lost easily and uh, why do these elements lose their electron elements lose their electron to attain stable inert gas configuration and the ionization energy of inert gases are very high because they are stable and they have completely filled subshells let's sum up whatever we have learned so far about ionization energy ionization energy as shown in the picture there it decreases in a group and increases in a period and uh, group 2a elements have higher ionization energy than group 3 group 5a has higher higher ionization energy than group 6 also you must remember first ionization energy of group 2a is higher than the first ionization energy of group 1a as we need to remove an electron from a completely filled subshell however the second ionization energy of group 2a is lower than the second ionization energy of group 1a because once uh, one of the electron is removed the group 1a becomes uh, gets the stable inert gas configuration and to remove an electron that is the second electron from a stable inert gas configuration requires more energy just remember these um, trends and some facts on ionization energy we will be using them to do some questions on ionization energy So let's do some questions on ionization energy. Identify elements with higher ionization energy: lithium and potassium. Between these two, they belong to the same group 
and hence lithium will have a higher ionization energy as ionization energy decreases in a group. So now between calcium and selenium, which one will have higher ionization energy? Selenium will have a higher ionization energy because calcium and selenium belong to the same period and ionization energy increases in a period. Phosphorus and sulfur. Again, these two belong to the same period and um, but phosphorus uh, belongs to group 5A and uh, sulfur belongs to group 6A and we have learned that ionization energy of group 6A is lower than though they belong to the same period ionization energy of um, 6A is lower than that of 5A and uh, strontium and indium the answer will be strontium as we also know that ionization energy of group 2A is greater than ionization energy of group 3A and sodium plus and magnesium plus sodium plus uh, then since it's already positively charged we are talking about the second ionization energy therefore second ionization uh, sodium plus will have a higher ionization energy because the second ionization energy of group 2A is less than the second ionization energy of group 1A because in group 1A we are removing an electron from a completely filled orbital. Copper and zinc. Zinc will have a higher ionization energy. You can look at the electronic configuration. Uh, zinc has a completely filled 3D10 4S2 and definitely to remove an electron from 4S2 will require higher energy. And copper plus and zinc plus. So looking at the electronic configuration after the loss of one electron Copper plus will have an inert gas configuration and hence group um, the copper plus will have a higher ionization energy.